Hey guys, you're watching Simon and Ali. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build Springfield. This is episode 81. We're in the 80s now. And as you can see, I've got some very colourful colours in my... Colourful colours? In my hotbar. Some colourful blocks. That sounds better. Some colourful blocks in my hotbar. Because today we're going to be doing the Ferris wheel. Now, I remember when I used to play the Simpsons Tap Tower mobile game. Uh, the... Ferris wheel seem to be very small. It's not a very big Ferris wheel. It has to be small enough to obviously fit on a pier, but it's going to be a fun one to do. I think I want to do it right on the end, and I think we might be able to get it to fit as well. Now, I've got an interesting idea on how we're going to do the base. We're going to do it like, like this, okay? We're using these, like, vertical half slabs, if you like, and then we'll put uh, a line of red... Along, because it's got like a red break in the middle. I'm going to do it three blocks high. You know, we have to scale it a little bit down to what the uh, actual picture is. And then, oh yeah, they go on top. Oh, that's annoying. Do I have one? I don't. Okay, let's go back to the crafting table. I've got a crafting table here. I can make another one. Okay, so we're going to come down here. We're going to make this into those. Give it to that. And then we can now place these on here. Aha! See, I always find my way around a problem. Like that. And then these go on top. Like that. Come on. There. 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 And there. I think that's wide enough still. And then we have a full block on top, which then gives us that little lip that it has on it. Okay? Wonderful. It's actually quite tall, isn't it? Uh... It's actually going to be bigger than what I thought by the looks. Okay, anyway, I don't want to do the sides and I don't want to do the back until we know exactly how big the Ferris wheel is going to be itself. So, let's just put down, I'm going to put down a red block there just so I know that that's where the middle is going to be. And now from here we're going to grab these grey ones, which are going to be the legs. That's three blocks away from the centre. That's three blocks away from the centre. I think that's a pretty good starting point to now start the, the triangle, the A-frame. Uh, I think it'd be best to be called. That goes up to the top. Up, or up to the, the middle of the Ferris wheel. You guys know what I mean. So up here. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then that one. That one. Uh, we'll do it like that. And then that's where the, the middle is. I think that's a pretty good height. I think that's a pretty good scale for what we want. And then down the middle, we're going to do a yellow, uh, a yellow, what do you call it, like middle that it rotates around. It's probably going to be that wide in total, which looks pretty good to me. I'm going to put a red one here, and I'm going to surround it with some yellow ones like that. And then I do have these already cut. Just to make it look a little bit rounder. This is the yellow cap on the end. Oh, that looks okay. That looks good. I like that. I like that. Okay, now we've got an eight-spoke circle. I love the number eight for this because it makes things extremely easy. Okay, I think what I'm also going to do... Did I just get... I did. Yeah, I just got rid of those little round ones. I can get those back, actually, can't I? No, I just got rid of that, too. Okay, that one. Then that one. Okay, I got everything back back again. I just want to put this grey around the top like that, just so it looks like it's actually being held in. Because the red spokes are going to come off here. Now, 8 is a super easy number to do on Minecraft, because obviously we just have one coming out in the sort of north, south, east, and west, if you like. And then we have them come out on the diagonals as well, and that gives us 8 spokes. I'm so glad it's 8, because if it was 6... It makes things a little, well, actually quite a lot trickier, uh, I think. Okay, so we've got the, the eight spokes. Now we need to work out how big these spokes are going to be. And the easiest way to do that, I think, is probably to do the bottom one first. Because the bottom one is going to tell us how close to the floor we want this to be. Now we know that we've got to have a floor down here, which is, appears on the picture to be the same material as the sides. It makes sense, I suppose. So, whoop, I'm a little bit fast. I might have to slow down my speed. My, my flying speed here. Make it any time. Okay. Uh, so, that's going to be the bottom. Now, I think if we, were, if we now build a cart down here, and then build the cart up to the spoke, I think that'll probably be the best idea. So, we want probably 
four blocks wide? I think that's probably going to be the the easiest. And then if we grab this yellow one and this yellow one here, I'm thinking a yellow one there and there. And it's got, got a really weird shape, doesn't it? It sort of goes up. So I'm got, now going to maybe put that there and there with a full block in the middle. From the side, you can see we're starting to get like a, a curve. These aren't, they aren't big. We need to bear that in mind. So I think now we're going to place these around the side. And then I've got the blue for the seats. I did look, if you look very, very closely, they've got little blue seats in them. So we can place those down in there. Hopefully they won't pop through the sides. No, it doesn't look like they do. Wonderful. That looks pretty good. And then I don't think I want it any bigger than that. I think I want to keep it about this size. So then these come around there. Obviously, we need to put a door in in a minute if we can. And yeah, we're still in the middle. Oops. That that one, that one, that one, and that one. Now, can we get the red on here at all? If I take that away and I put in four of the, or just one of these, in fact, would do. That gives us the little red doors that are on the front. Uh, then if we get the gray poles, one goes on each corner to hold the roof up. <laughs> That's going to look pretty cool, I think. And then I'm going to put, for the moment, I'm going to put that there, 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 and there. And then maybe that one and that one. And then put these back in all four corners. And that should hopefully give us a little bit of a, a roundish look on the top. So great to have half slabs in any block you want. Very, very nice. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then... Ooh, ah. I've noticed a problem. A big problem. Uh, I'm going to have to move everything over by one block apart from this. Oh, yeah, and we could go around with like a little thin red line as well around the outside. I think I'll do that, but I need to move everything over. This is going to be awkward. One in capital letters. Why do I have caps lock on? Okay, from there to there. It's not going to copy those um, those blocks. Oh, uh, no. Uh, undo. Undo. It's not going to copy those micro blocks, unfortunately. Yeah, see, we've sort of lost that now. But I just need to move it over by, by one. Cut. And then paste. And then from there... To there. And I'm going to go up against, well, I can go here. Cut and paste. Okay, so that's moved 99% of it. Unfortunately, it did remove the stupid things. Let me redo it. I should be back. I just need to move it one more over because of the pole. I forced, I, I didn't see that problem coming. I should be back. Okay, I've moved it over. It really didn't take that long, uh, but I thought I'd cut it out anyway. So now we're going to go around with these little red strips. It looks like I already had some that I didn't see. Uh, and then stick these around the outside just to give that little bit more detail to them. I've got to build another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these, don't I? That's not too bad. That's not too bad. It, it really didn't take me long, actually. Now we've got the pattern of how it goes. It actually takes a lot shorter than you might think. Okay, we can remove that. Let's get the big red ones back now. So this needs to go down to there. I'm then going to have maybe this one along the middle. Like that. And then another red one there, which is the other side. Uh, it should all still fit on. We can always move the dock a little bit if we need to. And then to connect it to each other, maybe... Because it's not they're not they're not touching. Does it matter that they're not touching? Not really. Not really. Does it annoy me? A little bit, maybe. Um No, I'm gonna leave it like that. I I don't think that we, we, we need it to actually be touching, do we? That's getting a little bit 
too silly on the detail, isn't it, really? Okay, and then the yellow one goes in there. That goes there. And then how do we do this? It's then the grey. Oops. It's the grey. That goes around there. Something like that. Yellow one. Red one on the end. Uh, oh, yeah, and then we've got to put down these again, don't we? That one. That one. Because this obviously was deleted when we... Um, when we done the cut, that one, that one, and that one, uh, there, same on this side, uh, that one, that one, that one, that one, boop, 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 and, and boop, <laughs> okay, there we go, so we now know that this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks, that's easy to remember, Eight, eight, eight sticks, eight directions, and eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so they're the ones in the four directions. Now, I'm not going to do the diagonal ones yet because obviously the diagonal ones probably aren't going to be eight blocks out because that would make sort of a square, I think. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go around with a slightly lighter red around here let's start at the bottom again we're gonna go on this one and now what we need to do is we need to build a large circle okay so we're gonna go that's five blocks in total and then I'm gonna to go to this side I'm gonna do five blocks now the way I do circles especially circles that are sort of vertical in the sky is I do one corner and then once I like the corner I then will go around and change it from there so I'm going to add another one to each one. So it's now seven blocks in a straight line. And now I'm going to start the curve. So we're going to have uh, one like that. One like that. One like Ah, wait a minute. We've got two blocks there. Three blocks there. That one. That one. That's better. Like that. Now, do I like that as a circle? I think I do. It's a perfect circle. That looks very, very neat. Very, very easy to replicate as well. So we can go three blocks on that side, three blocks on that side. That gives us our seven in total. Then that one comes out. It comes down like that. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it comes up like that. That's right. Yeah, that's it. Okay, wonderful. Uh, one, one, two, three. One, two, three. And then that one. Like that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then the last one is here. Now we can probably copy and paste the entire circle here. It might cut out a, a little bit of time, make it a little bit easier for us. Uh, to get the one on the other side, but we'll do it after we put the, uh, the red ones in here. So now we've got the circle. It's just a matter of joining these two up together now. See, that is only five blocks diagonally so uh, if we'd done the eight we would have been really really far out and it looked really really weird uh, so we'll have that one that one and that one okay and then there's a circle i'm now gonna copy and paste that onto the other side and i'm also going to do the other seven of uh of these little baskets because You've seen how we've built them. I might as well cut it out. And I should be back and we should be pretty much done, I think. So, yeah, give me a couple of seconds. All right. I'm coming up to the last few bits here. Just got a little bit to do on the seven uh, seats. What would you call What would you call them? Seat. Like like the bits you sit in. I don't know, if, know what you would call. Oops, I've gone too far. I don't know what you would call them. Um, baskets? Would you call them baskets? I think baskets is a good name for them. Uh, the baskets that you see, and I've just got to do the four little slabs on the corners, gone too far again, and then put this little red bit in. And there is one thing that I did forget, and that's obviously we're building this in reverse to what the picture is. And if you look on the picture very, very closely at the back, there's actually a staircase to get into the thing, because because that's quite important. If you if you're gonna have a ride that you want people to go on. You need to be able to get the people in. <laughs> it's like building a roller coaster with no way in. Or a restaurant with no doors. 
a little bit, a little bit uh, silly for us to forget that, but we did, so we can fix that. We'll do that on the front. So this is just a little red bit that goes around the edge. Oops. Uh, that one. Nope. That one. Thank you. Uh, that one. That one. So close, and I'm so pleased with it. It looks so good. I'll back off in a second. Uh, in fact, I'm not going to back off until I put the bottom of the um, baskets in. So like that, make it daytime. And then we're going to grab this one, because this is the last one so that we need to put in here. Just need to do, oi, just need to do one, oi, on each corner. So one, woo, one there. That, I didn't remove that. I, I accidentally removed that. Um, that one, that one, that's better. So that one, that one, uh, that one. See, this is how tough it was. I had to do this for every single part. Because at first, at first it's sort of okay because there's so much space everywhere. You know, the, oi. Because none of the, none of the other baskets have been built yet. You know, you've only got that one that we completed at first. And then as you put down the next part and the next part and the next part, it gets more and more cramped and less and less space to be able to walk through until it's like this where you're just like barely squeezing through the tiniest of little gaps. This is an easy way to do it though, isn't it? From dead underneath it. There and there. That one. That one. That one. And that one. Where are we? Oh, underneath here. Uh. Oh, I'm missing a blue one in here. Oh, I'm missing all the blue ones in there. Hold on. That one, that one, that one, and that one. I thought I had them all, but I did miss a couple of bits when I was going around on other ones, so... Eh, I can't be perfect, can I? There. 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 And there. And the last one. Three. Two. Oops. Two. One. Oh, that was zero. <laughs> How cool does that look? I absolutely love it. It's, it's it's fantastic. Now, we just need a staircase to be able to get into it. I'm going to do it three blocks wide. I'm going to remove that one and that one. And I might... Because if you look on the picture, it goes very, very close into its stairs. This is the one. It goes very, very close to the middle the stairs do. So I reckon that one, take that away. And that away. Just need to place one on the side there so I can get those in. And just place one upside down there. Just to cover that corner up. And then those ones go down. Boom. It's done. That is so cool. I absolutely love it. I really, really do. It's done on both sides as well. No differences, are there? No, no differences. I've got the red beading along them all. I've got the blue seats in them all yeah we're done <laughs> if you guys enjoyed the episode hit that like button if you haven't already please subscribe we should see you in the next episode take it easy guys